why not help them? So I said, I'm gonna help you, don't worry. I'm gonna go live and say I'm gay just to show you this is I was like, yeah, don't be scared. Then they said they don't want to tell their parents because they're scared of what might happen. And all this, blah, 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 blah. Then I was like, okay, cool. Then I was like, let me help you guys. Like, I'm not, I told this guy, because if people DM me all the time asking for help, so whenever I can help, you know, I help when I can. Because it's like, you know, why not? You know, if I can help someone, why not help them? So I said, I'm going to help you. Don't worry. I'm going to go live and say I'm gay just to show you. This is, it's not as bad as it seems, you know, just, you know, take from what I say and, put this into your own words so that's what i did i was helping someone who was scared to tell their parents they are gay so then i i'm not gay first of all let me make that clear i'm not gay but i wanted to help this person you know show them it's easy to just open up that like it's not that hard to open up but i'm not gay just making that sure i'm not gay i was wanting to help this person but after i said i'm gay i said everything what i want to help this person but then you guys what look here mm -hmm these things because you know he doesn't like them so i just i'm trying to help you guys you know respect yourselves because you'll be sending me booty dude i don't want booty man just leave me alone dog you're gay i'm not gay i'm telling you i'm not gay bro what happened so a few days ago i went live okay people who join now let me explain a few days ago i went live and then someone told i was reading my dm and someone said they're scared to go tell the parents that they're gay then and not you clear kitu kidogo and you just want to blow it some just when you thought you were going to break me no we're going to use this shit of hassan being no darling you ain't breaking me he's still my child gay or not he's still going to be my child it's january you need rent money you need school fees some of you don't even know what you're going to eat today but you were so quick first thing in the morning to get in the you know what is is it the free free cheap bundles in tanzania is it the free cheap bundles that makes you all so jobless that the only thing you have is to get onto social media and abuse and attack and bully people you can't break me what do i mean almost how many years almost 17 years in the show business 17 years meona watu wanakuja wanaenda wanakuja mimi yani mimi sio mchaza wa movie i don't sing i don't even know why i'm still here you know why i'm still here it's because god is still keeping me here so you all can break me until god says sorry it's time to shut the curtains i'm good with that binadamu you can't muna nisema mimi hapa mkiniona i'm living a better life than all of you who just wake up to bully me kwenye your, your keyboard warriors nyinyi ni my keyboard warriors this is the only thing lakini tukisema kimaisha tusimame kwenye line wengine amweza hata kufanya house girl kwangu who house girls jui udada kwangu you can't it's january tungekuwa tunaangalia tunajijenga vipi maisha iendelee huna fees huna code huna chakula ya usiku kazi kuingia it's the cheap bundles that you have in Tanzania it's the cheap bundles that you have in Tanzania that puts you behind the keyboard to think you can fight battles and bully people on keyboards you are keyboard warriors in real life when you meet people like that they can't even face you but you guys are so good here kwa vitu vingine hamuwezi kimaisha hamuwezi maendeleo hamna lakini mpewe tu hizo bundles za Tanzania hizo they are so cheap sisi Uganda mpaka bundles zina tax usipolipa tax if you don't pay tax internet tax in Uganda you cannot access internet even if you have bundles on your phone unaweza kuwa na bundles lakini kama hujalipa huu nini tax you cannot access um, internet ndio naona waganda hawafuatilii sana kila kitu kimekuwa expensive hata kama wamemchoka mzee tu kweli tunaelewa wamemchoka wame lakini ameonge ame, ameweka what a sheria that people don't have so much time to spend on social media bullying and what watu wanaingia kwenye Uganda wapo wanaingia huko lakini but they always just putting my business wanatangaza nini nini Nyinyi mtu akiamka tu asubuhi ha. Zari siku ile alikoa, yani vile alikoa makamasi yalitoka hivi. Mbona kitu kawaida? Kwani zari sio binadamu?
I'm a human being. Lazima nitakohoa na vitu vitatokea. Mswahili asikuone unakohoa kitu kinatoka. Yaani kabisa mswahili akikuangalia akikukuta kwenye barabara when you're busy shitting. Kama you are shitting on the road, mswahili asione kitu gani inatoka huko. Yaani mswahili akikukuta kaa tu kwa mavi asioni kwa kama kwa mavi yako asioni mavi yenye ametoka ya rangi gani eh eh wacha aseme tu nilimkuta kwenye barabarani anajisaidia lakini hasione nini kinatoka huko aswahili mi nimewazoea mtoto wangu ndio hajawazoea mimi ndio saa zingine naonaga vitu na, na kazangu kimi because i'm used you guys have tried to break me ever since i got with diamond mkashindwa na nimeachana naye lakini maisha yanaendelea lakini bado mnajaribu what's the point What is the point? Kumfatilia zari you 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 bully too much. You guys bully too much. Swahili people leo naambia ukweli you are bullies. Hiyo hauna ubishi mpaka nyinyi mwenyewe mnajijua tabia zenu. Mbongo asione tu unafanya kitu. Ukikohoa kabisa fanya hivi. Hivyo. <coughs> Asikie tu umekohoa lakini hajaona sijui nini ilitoka wapi na wapi. 